All right, back on the Hampton Road Show with the Entertainment Express. I'm joined by our executive producer, Stephanie Cook, with a recap of last night's Golden Globes. I know you were tweeting, you were on Facebook, and you had a lot of people following you. Yeah, it was so fun. And I'm about to get my recap of the Golden Globes <laughs> from you. So yeah, yeah, yeah. where do we want to start? Well, I, have a, I, I will tell you at the end, but I, ha I, kept, I did my ballot on Friday, mm -hmm. so we'll see how I did. Okay. My son, Josh, was the one that kind of checked off as we went along, because he likes to try to pick two, and <laughs> he doesn't have a hope. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyway, so we'll tell you. Okay. okay. So anyway, I, you know, the big talk leading up to the Golden Globes was not really who would win this year as much as it was how would Ricky Gervais do as the host. It was his third year, but last year was so over the top. A lot of the celebs were nervous, and so many of them should have been right out of the gates. Gervais started slinging mud. Tonight, you get Britain's biggest comedian hosting the world's second biggest award show on America's third biggest network. <laughs> so, is it it's four? It's four. For any of you who don't know, the Golden Globes are just like the Oscars, but without all that esteem. Yeah. <laughs> the Golden Globes are to the Oscars what Kim Kardashian is to Kate Middleton, basically. <laughs> what? A bit louder. A bit trashier, bit drunker, and more easily bought. <laughs> oh, that was so <laughs> good. There. I was just dying when you said that. Many of the stars were not just taking it, though. Some were giving it back, for instance. Our next presenter is the Queen of Pop. Not you, Alton. Sit down. This is... She's all woman. I'll give you some clues. She's always Vogue. She's a material girl, and she's just like a virgin. <clears throat> Please welcome Madonna. If I'm still just like a virgin, Ricky, then why don't you come over here and do something about it? I haven't kissed a girl in a few years. <laughs> On TV. <laughs> uh, ran, it goes running, running by. Across. I know, that was my favorite part. Okay, okay. All right, so that was some of the fun, but uh, let's talk about some of the winners. I made all my picks, of course, on Friday, like I said. Josh checked them off, and we'll see how I did. As the night went along, there were 25 awards categories, and guess how many I got? I'm going to guess. 20. Oh, of course. I'm pretty proud of that. Of course. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> Carrie. Thank you. You've done enough clapping this weekend. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here are some of the big um, winners for film. The two biggest winners were The Descendants, which won motion picture, drama, and George Clooney for best actor in a drama, and The Artist, which won motion picture comedy or musical, and Jean Dujardin, who won best actor in a musical or comedy. It also won best score. If you haven't seen The Artist, it is a silent film that was just made this past year. Stunning. Like, the acting in this is ridiculous. I really thought it was going to win screenplay. We'll get to that. Mm -hmm. um, other winners to note, Meryl Streep won for Best Actress in a Drama, and Michelle Williams won for Best Actress in a Comedy or Musical for My Week with Marilyn. Octavia Spencer Yay! won Best Supporting Actress for The Help, and Christopher Plummer won Best Actor for Beginners. And Martin Scorsese was the surprise for me. He won Best Director for Hugo. Now, for Hugo, I, I thought it would win. I really thought it was going to win screenplay. I got this one wrong because I didn't think anybody would vote for it. I really mm. thought nobody was going to vote for it. I um, actually picked uh, the artist screenplay and was surprised when Scorsese won. I think it is completely deserved and bodes very well for Oscar predictions. He's definitely in the race now um, coming up uh, next week when the nominations are announced. Then there was also TV. And as much as I love TV, I have to admit, like Carrie was mentioning earlier, I have not seen a lot of the shows that won, mainly because I don't have HBO or Showtime mm -hmm. or Stars. I don't have those movie channels, and that's where most of the stuff came from. Best Actor in a Drama went to Kelsey Grammer for Boss, and that is a Stars series. He plays a Chicago mayor in that one. Best Actress went to Claire Danes for Homeland, and that is um, a Showtime series, Homeland Security kind of thing. She's mm -hmm. a CIA um, agent. 
Matt uh, LeBlanc won for Best Actor in a Comedy, and that is for a show called Episodes, in which he plays himself. Thank God he won that. <laughs> Thank God he won that. And then also Best Actress uh, for in a Comedy went to Laura Dern for a series called Enlightened, which I really, uh -huh. really want to see, um, and I'm going to check that one out. But of course, the... Um, the actual award for best comedy did go to a network and it was one of the best acceptance speeches of the night. Take a look. Buenas noches. Gracias, Antonio. Gracias, Salma. Al ser esto un premio internacional, lo vamos a recibir en dos idiomas. Lo vamos a recibir en dos idiomas. This being an international award, tonight we accept in two languages. En nombre de Modern Family, le damos las gracias al Hollywood Foreign Press por este gran honor. On behalf of everyone at Modern Family, thank you to the Hollywood Foreign Press for this tremendous honor. Le damos las gracias of course. It Sheila was amazing. And what is funny <laughs> is right there that you didn't see Antonio Banderas and Salma Hayek introduced her in complete Spanish, which was hysterical. Did they? Yeah, and it was so funny. And she just kept up. And they had already predicted that. So and you and Tracy are always talking Modern Family. That's oh, your guys' show. Oh, Modern Family is fantastic. If you haven't watched it, you have to see it. And we will be stuck to the TV next Tuesday, the 24th, when the Oscar nominations come out. Mm. And thanks again to everybody who Facebooked with us and tweeted with us all night during the Globes. It was a lot of fun. Absolutely. Good job, Steph. Yay, 20 out of 25. <laughs> Rock it out. <laughs>